kibicho. I told kibicho. The way things are moving, we need to act very fast. So he asked me, Babu, what do we do? I told him, Kibicho, we need to arrest Chebukati immediately for bungling elections. Do you know what Kibicho told me? Babu, watch a vita, watch a vita. Because <laughs> what is happening in Aguyo Mutu? Was this part of it? Was this? I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> this man was supposed to be our person. Yeah. But what is happening? Watch a video. Watch a video. Watch a video. No, it is you to arrest Chebukat for bungling what? Election. Elections. Then, Cherera to announce Baba as what? As one. As the winner. You see. Or we go for? Ariran. Uh, uh, Ariran. Because the election is already being bungled. This was a fake deep state election. We cannot blame Kenya Kwanza. We have to blame ourselves. Within our house, that is where the problem started. Personally, I knew now I would not be sitting in this office. Already. Right now, I'll be serving Kenyans at a different level as a cabinet secretary, either for interior or education. <laughs> but look at me now. I promised Embakasi East residents that I was going to give them jobs. Some were going to work in Garissa from Embakasi East. Some were going to work in Kisumu. Some were going to Nyeri. Some were going to remain here in Nairobi. We mismanaged our agents. Agents were supposed to be in Central. Do you know the reason why agents withdrew from their work in Central? They were agents. But they were, agents were told that they were going to be paid in batches. In, at different times, in different proportions. In the morning, they were supposed to be sent money. In the afternoon, being sent money. At the time of counting, being sent money. But in the morning, intentionally, money was not being sent. What do you do as an agent? You say that these people have duped you. They were agents, but these agents were not paid. But the person who was paying these agents, I will not name the name, but I know, we all know, it's not even from our side. The person who was supposed to pay the agents was from Uhuru's side. You see? And this person intentionally refused to pay these agents. Intentionally. Then agents decided to withdraw because we are not being paid. We were hired to work. We are not being paid. Fighting Junette for no reason. I can tell you for tr the truth of this, of this matter. Do you think the money that was meant for the agents do you think that money was commensurate to what, to what Junette would have been in Baba's government? Do you think Junette would have left this election just to go so that he forgoes his dream in Baba's government? Probably could have even made more money in Baba's government than that money for the agents. But there is always somebody who must always carry the cross. That is why that, is why that cross was put on Junette's back. If you eat with the devil in the dark, use a long fork. <laughs> use a long fork. Mimi, story Uru, when it comes to this election, Mimi is taki atakuskia. Let him have his relationship with Baba. But me as a person who was involved at the center of this campaign, being at the presidential campaign team, I was campaigning from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, five days for Baba and only two days in Mbakasi's constituency. Mere conspiracy theory. Why would Uhuru and Ruto fight if in 2002, Ruto stood with Uhuru against all odds? 2013, Ruto stood with Uhuru against all odds. 2017, Ruto stood with Uhuru. And they also went to ICC together. So what is it? that went wrong between the two. Nothing. Those ABC, why did we have to go back with them? We proposed in parliament to remove Chebukati as members of parliament. But we were told we will handle Chebukati. The same deep state, in quotes, told us we will handle Chebukati. So stay still. So we said, okay. 
let's stay still. Of course, they say that um, <laughs> there's a there's, there's a quote that says that if you're walking and you don't meet with the devil, know that you're going in the same dire <laughs> direction. <laughs> An election when we lost BBI. If you ask me, all these others were just some additional information about losing the, the elections. But remember, when BBI was brought, BBI was a very good document. But BBI was a document that was designed to fail. From the onset, Ruto set out to fight the document and traverse the country campaigning against it. Every other big political party and a small political party in this nation were all supporting BBI and they signed. But the moment BBI failed, we started experiencing mass exodus from our side. That is the time our speaker, Wetangula, left. That is the time Honorable Moses, uh, sorry, Honorable um, Saliam Davadi left. That is the time the Speaker of the National Assembly, within that period, left. The devil in the dark, use a long fork. <laughs> use a long fork. Mimi, story Uru, when it comes to this election, Mimi stuck at Akuskia. Let him have his relationship with Baba. But me as a person who was involved at the center of this campaign, being at the presidential campaign team, I was campaigning from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Five days for Baba, and only two days in Mbakasi's constituency. Ah, yeah. Let me ask you, Matiangi. Matiangi was part of us. At what point did Matiangi apply for the job of the United Nations? went for an interview, won and was passed, and when election results were announced, he was already called to go and work. How did he know we are going to lose elections? How did he know we are going to lose elections? You see, Muredi, this, the, all these things, those, these people were playing around with Bab. Must appreciate about Ruth. He met me in Parliament. He asked me, Babu, do you believe that now I'm the president. He asked me. I told him, Uli to Shinda na Akili. <laughs> yes. That man is a sharp man. We cannot underrate him. I can tell you, Mure, the day I saw Ruto in parliament, and he asked me a question that Babu, Sasa umeamini mimi ni rais. And I told him, His Excellency, Uli to Shinda na Akili. <laughs> 